Hey YouTube, how's everybody doing? Speedfree2010 here. Welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to Grand Theft Auto 5 Online. It's another card customization video. And today we're going to be talking customizing, I say, the second to last vehicle of the San Andreas Mercenaries DLC. The Bovado Gauntlet. No, the Bovado Hot Wing Hellfire. As I just previously mentioned, this car is from the San Andreas Mercenaries update that came out, I think, two weeks ago two two weeks ago and you can find it on Southern San Andreas Super Autos for about one million eight hundred thousand dollars eight hundred ten thousand dollars it's in the sports class just like the other two previous hot wing cars the Everin and the Sabre however unlike those two cars which are based on NASCAR based vehicles this one is also a stock car but a road going stock car primarily getting its looks from the Dodge Challenger SRT TA2 TA standing for Trans Am a racing series that is sort of similar to NASCAR except these cars such as the third gen Chevy the third generation sorry Dodge Challenger which is what this base is off is this based off of the fifth or sixth gen Chevy Camaro and fifth and sixth gen Ford Mustangs all do battle on road courses and this actually harkens back all the way to the 1960s so a lot of history with those three cars in fact they still race it to this day however unlike however unlike the hot ring hellfire which and the other two cars I just mentioned which have stickers for lights the Trans Am 2 cars actually have racing actually have headlights and tail lights and and a four speed so let's not waste any more time let's get into the customization so you know the drill by now if you enjoyed it feel free to sh leave a like feel free to subscribe if you are new if you wish uh... if you want to follow me on twitter you can although i'm not really promoting because i haven't been really doing much on it lately because i mostly use it for internet browsing and whatnot but if you want to it's fine and feel free to shoot me a comment section let me know what you think and let's do it first things first let's take this thing out for a bit of a quick test drive around the block first now I'm gonna turn off my microphone for a quick moment and I want you guys to use your ears and listen to this thing very very carefully cuz I actually took this test this car out on the test drive earlier and from what I've seen from my experience driving this car as well as the video this thing seems to have a even though it's naturally aspirated it seems to have a supercharger sound much like the original hellfire or it could be that rockstar messed up the uh, racing transmission and it rises and falls like a supercharger i don't know anyway y'all take a quick listen y'all take a uh, quick less uh listen to this
All right, now that we've gotten the test drive out of the way, I'm sure you have noticed something with the uh, car. More so, this. Those are roof flaps. And for some reason, unlike the roof flaps in real life, on the real life car, as well as the NASCAR cars that actually come with this, the roof flaps actually as a both an air brake as well as a spoiler. Um, allow me to explain. Um, this car, in terms of performance, sits in between the Everon and the Sabre. So it's slightly slower than the Everon at 123, 124.25 mile an hour. So just one, one mile an hour slightly slower than the truck, the uh, Everon racing truck. And just above the old Everon Sabre. So this is the middle ground. But unlike those cars, this car has no handling flags, so it doesn't have that weird engine revving noise uh, when you try to do a second gear burnout. It actually does, as I just demonstrated earlier. And also, the uh, roof flaps actually don't work as they actually do here as an air brake. See, in NASCAR, it, whenever a car would spin out at over like 150, 160 miles an hour, um, air would try to get underneath the car and the roof flaps would actually be deployed by the wind getting underneath it and they would pop up to keep the car on the ground it doesn't always work it doesn't always work as if the car is going too fast and spins out of control and is facing backwards air can get underneath the car and actually pick it up off of the ground and in what is called a blow over if you want recent proof of this, I highly suggest you check out YouTube clips of Ryan Priest's crash from the Coca-Cola 600 this past, I think it was September, I think it was early September, late August this past uh, season in NASCAR on, at a, I think it was Daytona. Yes, it was de definitely Daytona, the Coca-Cola 600 this past, uh, a couple weeks ago. And you'll see why. This is the, that is a very recent example as to what will happen when the roof flaps don't always work. Another part of this is if you were to is by hitting the brakes um, instead of not just uh, slowing the car down, these uh, roof flaps would actually act as a spoiler, giving the car much traction. And also, unlike the other two cars, this car has actual body modifications but it's very very lacking so don't get your hopes up so anyway that's what I'm gonna anyway that's what I'm gonna show off right now as soon as I turn off the radio to possibly avoid copyright infringement anyway we anyway, turn off my radio right quick and we just get back into it it's not and with and just like the other two uh, hot rings all the all the liveries that you saw on the Everon when I made a video on that they're all replicated here with just with different numbers the primary paint job is the rich blue here and the secondary is tied to the uh, roll cage in between so let's not waste any more time let's get into it And also, I'm not sure if you guys noticed when I was test driving this car out earlier, but this car has much is mimicking, sort of tends to mimic the one in real life by having a four speed, which is actually used in the uh, TA2 uh, Dodge Challenger in real life. So maybe, so it's possible we could get a five speed uh, when I upgrade the transmission. And also, uh, I'm actually going to, instead of keeping this car naturally aspirated, I'm actually going to put a turbo in it. Just to give it the illusion that it's possible that this car is supercharged. But anyway, I'm going to do all the armor, brakes, uh, turbo and whatnot, and do all the other stuff later. Four. Uh, suspension uh, it's not really much 
you can do since this car is already low enough to the ground. So I'm gonna leave that alone. I'll get this car racing transmission. I'm actually gonna put on a turbo. And it sounds like this car has a supercharger despite it being naturally aspirated, much like the no, the uh regular Hellfire was supercharged if you did put a turbo on it. This one seems to have one already in there. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But I'm gonna put on a turbo. And wheels, we are gonna come wheels we're gonna come back to. Okay, so anyway we got we got all the uh mandatory stuff. Now the aerials this actually has some customization but like I said don't expect to get too much it's very limited you have a oh uh, you have antennas you have a bolted splitter which is actually what the car in real life comes with but I think I'm actually gonna leave it stock for n I think I'm gonna leave it stock for now maybe I might put this on off screen later Chassis, you actually have these trunk fins, which are actually, you can actually find these on the old, on a NASCAR uh, spec race cars. You have them in, you only have them in black and transparent. They are not tied to the uh, paint job. Kind of wish they were. Anyway, this is also to help uh, airflow across the car, help it uh, stay on the tarmac in real life. But here, I'm just going to put on the uh, regular trunk fins. You only got one option from the exhaust. You can only turn it uh, chrome, which is what I'm gonna do. You have a horn. Not gonna mess with it. Lights. It's only good for. It's only good for neon. Uh, I'm gonna go through the uh, liveries really, really quick because you've already seen them in my Everon video, and if you already own the uh, the Class A Saber, so feel free to pause this video at any time and feel free to choose which one you may or may not want to go with okay Roof fins. These are ex This is also. You can also find these on uh, NASCAR spec cars too. Um, I'm not sure if it's. I think I'm not sure if it's optional or mandatory. I'll have to uh, look it up later. But as you can see, you can only get two options: transparent or them. Uh, or they're in, in black. Now spoilers. Now, from what I've read, doing a bit of research on this car, you can actually take off the spoiler and go roofless. And go spoilerless if you choose a aftermarket spoiler and quickly uh, go back to stock. However, I didn't really test this out, so I'm not gonna going to here. And there goes uh, my phone going off. Excuse me. Uh, okay, I'm back. Right before my phone went off and I was inter interrupted, you have actually a few choices of spoilers. Um, this is a Trans Am car, so these come with different uh, spoilers that you can find on GT car. You have the stock spoiler, you have the same one in black, you have bolted ducktails, which is reminiscent of Dodge's time in NASCAR when they actually used uh, the Dodge Challenger body in NASCAR. I think they stopped. Uh, well, they're not in uh, NASCAR right now. They kind of. They've been replaced by Toyota or they stepped out. But you could actually make this into like one of their older cars. So I'm going to put on the hot wing duck tail. And you actually have another GT spoiler right here. Suspension, I've already shown you. Turbo wheels. Um, I'm probably going to end up, I'm definitely going to end up changing these to the street version, the hot ring. I, it's either a toss up between the cup champions or the hot ring steelies. I think I'm gonna go with the cup champions. Uh, let me go to bullet, put bulletproof tires on. 
I'm gonna go with yellow, atomic yellow. And... Hmm. I'm probably gonna leave them alloy. And as for windows, here's what they tint. They only tint the side windows as well as the rear one. I'm gonna put on just a light smoke. Now, to go for the respray. I think... Oh yeah, as far as the crew emblem goes, it goes right here on the door. Uh, I'm probably going to go with a matte black finish. Give it that intimidate give it that uh intimidating look. Hmm. And I don't know what I'm gonna paint this car for the uh secondary. Okay, so hmm. I think I'm gonna go with a matte black, a pearl, no, can't do that, I think I'm gonna go all matte black, eh? oh yeah, it also carries the uh, underside of the car, I forgot this is a tube chassis, and I think I'm gonna go with a matte black and matte red finish, <laughs> kinda offset it. Yeah, I think so. Like, or do I want to go, or do I want to go all matte black with a chrome with a chrome roll cage or an alloy? Let me see what the metals look like. Brushed steel, aluminum. Huh? And I'm gonna go with a all for now gonna go with the all I think we're gonna go with the matte black and matte red color combo for now sort of to match the brake calipers and also because I don't know what color I want to uh, paint this car so for now I'm just gonna go with the matte black and matte red secondary and I think this is it uh, let's see what uh let me see what these cars look like in black not bad. Not bad. I think I'm gonna keep them alloy. And, yeah, this is gonna be it for the car customization video. Gonna take this thing out for a quick test drive. So, yeah. This is it. So, yeah. I'll catch y'all later. I'll catch y'all later when the uh, Halloween car drops, and then after that, to uh, celebrate the uh, thing being over, I'm going to do a garage tour, so definitely stay tuned for that. I'd love to see what you guys think of my car collection. Anyways, this has been Speed Freak 2010, and I'll hit y'all up later. Y'all take care. Peace.